He's shown steady improvement year after year. Is 2021 even better? Big things ahead for Josh Sweat, Eagles defensive end, who joins me, Eagles insider Dave Spadaro. Josh, um, let's talk about your NFL career. Um, why have you gotten better year after year? What has been the secret that every player can use to get better year after year? I think it starts with the guys in the room, you know. Every year, you know, I had great vets, you know, that helped me along the way, fundamentals, whatever plays. Most importantly for me, the competition at practice. And uh, that's it. I, mean, I just want to better myself, help better everybody else. I mean, that, that's the biggest thing. Have you found that through the course of your time here with the Eagles that you've watched Chris Long and, and tried to maybe take some of the great things that he's done and watched, you know, Derek Barnett and taken some of the great things he's done and watched Brandon Graham and does that stuff really work for you if, 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 in fact, you've done it that way? Yeah, absolutely. My main goal is to be as versatile as possible. And um, whether it's Derek, Brandon Graham, we all exchange information. We share with each other and we take a piece of each other's game. And it shows on the field. Everybody doing stuff that they haven't done before. You know, depending on the week, we'll take it there and we'll see how, how it works. Josh, what do you think your strengths are coming off the football? Uh, get off. Definitely get off. That's the biggest thing for me. If it's consistent, I should be good. Is that the number one key for a great pass rusher in this league? Is that what you've kind of learned through the time that you have to win at the snap of the football? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it just gives you a chance. If you're late, I mean, you're going to have a hard time regardless. What was 2020 like for you, just from an individual standpoint um, and the production that you had? Did, did you feel that you made really good progress? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like every year I get a little bit better. And um, I think last year I made a really big jump, you know, in the run game, pass game, you know, taking on a bigger role. It was fun, had a good time, and I'm uh, ready to do it again. And what does that do for your level of confidence? I think that's the biggest thing for everybody. All the young dudes in the league, all you need to do is spark the confidence, make you a couple of plays, and you're you gone from there. All right, so Tracy Rocker's your guy now. Uh, what has his daily message been to the group? Biggest thing is compete, especially this time of year offseason. Drills, drills, and we're getting after it. So out on the field in the spring, it has not been contact. It's walkthroughs. There's no one-on-ones. So how do you get better as a football player? Classroom. It's a lot of mental right now, a lot of walkthroughs, but we're still hitting it in the drills. You know, we might not be hitting each other, but like I said, we're just sparking the competition. Speed, power, that's it. At what point in your career, Josh, did you re realize that the mental part was so instrumental in the success of a football player. In college, I mean, generally, like, the best athlete seems to win. At the NFL level, that's not the case, right? Everybody's an athlete on the field at the end of the day in the NFL, so the mistakes are a lot worse, you know what I mean, not knowing what to do, even for a D lineman, you know, where it can be covered up sometimes. I still think knowing what to do is the biggest thing because, you know, it's not as physical all the time throughout the year, so you got to know what to do. All right, so let me ask you this one here. Ryan Kerrigan comes in. He's had great success in his career. What have you noticed about what he does on a day-to-day -day basis that maybe has made the difference for him in his career? His fundamentals, his attention to detail, his willingness to help everybody, you know what I mean? So he's real good for the room, most definitely. You're now in position to be one of those veterans helping some of these younger defensive ends. How willing are you to help them, and how receptive are they to veterans giving them pointers? Oh, they're good. I mean, I help them. If they ask for help, you know, I'm there for them. Because, I, I mean, I know how it is, you know, coming in, being, you know, a guy not so highly drafted. And uh, it's a tough role, and it can be intimidating. So I try to make them feel as comfortable as possible. Just do what you got to do. They're receptive. Josh, finally, what is your mindset going into training camp, going into 2021? I'm full speed ahead. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. That's all I can say. I'm just ready to go. You, sound, you seem really excited and like, re like, you, like really ready to rev it up. And, and, yeah. And yeah, I feel like I'm about to. I'm, I'm ready to go tomorrow. I don't know. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like we start tomorrow. Well, you got a little time to wait here. So what will your focus <laughs> be? What will your focus be between now and the end of July? Just getting better um, my, with my training and stuff like that. Like I said, fundamentals are my biggest thing. Um, longer season. Later on, I got to fall, fall back on that. So. Very good. Josh Sweat, thank you so much for joining me. Can't wait to see you on the field when training camp starts at the Novacare Complex. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. You take it easy.